Hey guys, so I just recently got my Jeep back, my 08 Grand Cherokee. Um, it dropped a valve, unfortunately. Um, so I want to just go over a few things about what went wrong and exactly what the head looks like. Um, so I, about t this time last year, it's November 22nd, I believe and um, it blew a head gasket so I replaced all the head gaskets and uh, got the heads machined and into spec but uh, last month it dropped a valve it was horrible it wouldn't start nothing had a loud click um, so I'll just show kind of things that went wrong and then uh, also I have a few other things that I had to do before it can pass smog. Um, so the guy who repaired my car, he actually broke the dipstick right here, but he was smart enough to not push it all the way down. So I bought a new one of those. And also this hose right here, I had to get the Jeep smogged. So I flipped it upside down so the smog technician wouldn't see it so I have that to replace to make sure um, what I have old condenser let's see uh, all my cars are locked <laughs> So, I have this old condenser hose, not a condenser, but it's a hose that came off of a Chevy. I think it's a coolant hose for a heater core or something. Um, I forget what it came off of. But this right here almost looks like the same size. as this so if anything a little bit smaller but it'd be a little snug but that's all right or i can cut this and get the same turn right here it'd be all right so i'm going to change that out i also bought a new dipstick so right here it's a from mopar so should just fit right in hopefully I can get this out oh there it is match the size yep it's the right one so let's put this in take that tag off in a minute I don't really drive the Jeep anymore it scares me to drive it because I don't want another thousand dollar repair anyways let's go over to the head so here's the lovely head so the first thing that went wrong that I think happened on this head right here it's pretty scored up yeah, so anyways, the rockers, what happened, I believe that in, the intake one got hung up. And they're known for dropping the valves on the intake side, not the exhaust side, which is weird to me. Because anyways, right here, this is the seat that totally came off. It gouged the shit out of it. But I think the seat is now fused to the piston. So, it's worthless. I mean, they could have fixed it, but I'm pretty sure all these things would have dropped eventually. They have common issues because they're the way they got pressed in, 
it's not it doesn't have grooves to grip onto it there is of course repairs to do it but it's not worth re repairing the dealership uh, describes this motor actually a throwaway which is horrible to tell a customer <laughs> but anyways what happened when that valve got stuck it rocked away in uh, the intake rocked away fell off landed on the other side of it and uh, knocked the other rocker arm off because they're not they're not bolted on they're just pressure just pressure and hydraulic so they're held on by that starting a rain so uh, where's those valves so here they are so here's the valve that fell off not fell off but the one first came off it was right here uh, over here this one was this one right here so it rocked off see it's basically on right now <laughs> it's horrible um, so so it rocked off it got stuck rocked off fell over to the side and the cam loop lobes hit it and pushed this one off so this head's completely junk I mean it's fixable it's not worth it the need a machine shop says you can't fix those cams you have to replace them replace it get it back in spec so the head's already rusting inside horrible and it's aluminum so that means that some kind of metal contamination but uh other than that you know it was at the the machine shop who originally did it it was just bad in general here's one of the lifters it's pretty gouged right there see how it is all marked up that's from those rocker arms falling down and catching on it super horrible so that's that Ugh. but so far the motor is pretty good it's not burning any oil or whatnot but let's try to see if we can um, replace this hose or something this hose I can't find online at all so I think because this is so flexible it doesn't really matter on it so I think I'm going to I'm gonna try to take this one off first and see if I could do anything with it it's just a crank case hose Okay, I got it off. Let's see if we can make it work. 
think it will work. Actually, it's a little sh short, so it's not going to work in that case. So, So I'll just measure a little bit of this, see if, let's take this off. Might have to cut that part off. It's all stuck in there. So, got it off, that's perfect now. So it's pretty, that's not the one, but not bad. So if I cut it around right here, if I cut it around right here, should work. You know, cut it longer than you need it, you know. Let's see. There you go, it works. Oh, bam. Right there. It's like OEM now. <laughs> so, anyways, my car did pass smog because I flipped that around. They would have docked me, especially in California. So, so replace the dipstick. Now that's good. Let's cut this off. So I got a brand new dipstick. Got a new hose. I think I'm low on oil. I don't know. No, probably not. But so I don't need this hose anymore. I guess I'll keep it though, just in case. I'll keep this in my car or in my box of head gasket parts so I'll remember. <sighs> so I did buy my gaskets from Big Three Gaskets. It came with everything I need. There's the other head gasket. I didn't want to fuck with the other or mess with the other gasket and stuff, but they came with you know all the gaskets for the thing. So keep in mind your tensioners are probably gonna be break they're pretty you know what is it called brittle these are the second set of uh, head bolts they're still in spec but I replaced them anyways for good measures so overall 
this Jeep and probably the rest of all the newer Jeeps are built crappy. So right now it's good to go. Get rid of this. Um, so yeah, but here's my Ninja 400. I did tint the windscreen because I didn't want to buy one of those zero gravity, you know, what is it called? Um, windscreens because I'm not going to pay a hundred dollars for, you know, $5,000 bike. That's ridiculous. Um, so this is, I forgot, Vivint, I think it's called, tinting. This is a, it's a, um, a wrap tint, not like a wet application, it's dry. Heat it up pretty good and it stretches over. I'm gonna redo it again, but I just wanted to see what it looked like. Um, see, there's a couple wrinkles in there, but those are where the mirrors are, so it doesn't really matter, so. So anyways, well, thank you for um, watching. I really, really appreciate it. Well, give me a thumbs up and please subscribe if you haven't yet. Uh, I really appreciate it. Um, so I got another video on my Ninja 400 because I recently got the new updated clutches and uh, clutch pin that Kawasaki came out with to fix the uh, clutch slippage issue that they have. So if you uh, got the new uh, Ninja 400 that is 2008 to the beginning of 2019 you want to look into it you know talk to your dealership about getting a switched out especially if you're warranty you only get a year warranty on these bikes but i bought the extended warranty which is only 500 dollars i tell everyone get the warranty the headlights alone are 800 dollars to replace because they're not bulbs they're led circuit boards so get those warranties on your new bikes if you buy them new um, and it's transferable so you sell your bike that person gets that warranty still so it's a good selling point um, so it has a brand new clutch. I have 10,000 miles on it. So anyways, well, that's another video. So I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.